Sorry. Welcome back to Clownsville. Welcome back. So we got a reward to collect for helping out Not Whole City, huh? Fucking finally, I'm now sure I can buy this shit you. here. Buy items. Gonna want that. Nice. Is that permanent or one-time use? That's a uh, permanent. Sweet. So we just have that forever. And now... You have good taste. Deal extra damage and find gold. There we go. Town. That's the one I want. Thank you for your custom. Is that the thing that gives you 50 gold for every kill? Yep. Mm, oh my I god. Definitely recommend that. That's ridiculous. CJ is thinking. Thinking. I don't know what they're thinking about. You really should purchase that. You really should Come purchase that. Anytime. Oh, you can also buy uh, weapons here that have four slots. Oh my god, that's four. so many. It's crazy. I'm realizing that augments is pretty much just like Materia in Final Fantasy VII, huh? You can just uh, uh, attach like attributes into the slots. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> did you hear that? My I, stomach. Your stomach went ow, ow. Oh, did it again? Oh, the master clockwork <laughs> pistol. Oh, oh, it's got four augment slots. It is a hundred and five thousand oh, dollars. I don't know if we can afford that. I don't think we're anywhere even close. We only have like thirty thousand dollars. We will never get that, will we? I don't know. I want it so bad. Morge. 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 I should make a profit on that. Now, uh, hold on a sec. Sell your augment remover. Dude, my tummy is digesting the pub sub and monster I had. I wasn't into my sandwich this time. I don't know what it was. You weren't in was there anything wrong with it? With how it was made? I don't know. I was just like eating it and I was like, I am not having a good just time right now. No. We'll, find you something. well, I mean, like, I, I feel like, should we divulge your taste in sandwiches? Because I'm sure there's plenty of viewers who would agree with you, but like all the time. What? Uh, should we divulge what you put on your sandwiches? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> CJ likes their, uh, okay, so we go to Publix. It's a, Thanks. for those who don't know, it's a grocery store down here in the south. Uh, very, but they make, they have a deli, they sell sandwiches, they sell this chicken tender sub, and it's fucking delicious. CJ just gets it absolutely fucking drenched in pickles. Yeah, just like so many pickles. Like. Although you always order it with lettuce for me. I do, okay. You uh, need to stop fucking putting lettuce on my sandwich. I just, I just reorder it from how we have it before. I'll remove the lettuce next time. You fuck. Because sometimes you want lettuce, sometimes you don't. I don't want lettuce anymore ever again. Okay. Now I know. And I now will, you know. Please, you may need to remind me next time we order it. <laughs> Once again, a couple arguing. <laughs> We're not arguing. We never argue. We talk. Like adults. Yeah. We, bitch. We love each other, bitch. Damn it. <laughs> can go on the shelf straight away. Oh, God, my throat hurts. Dude, I don't know why. I don't know if we've discussed this on the show yet, but I think the algorithm really pushed our uh, Xbox E3 uh, reactions video because it's like one of our most viewed videos and it has like a 40% thumbs down for some reason. People did not enjoy us. No. Remember. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't mean to buy that. I thought I was selling it. Fuck. Anyway, continue. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to talk about the comments. I don't want to know nobody to go like tease nobody. But it was just funny how like I don't know why. Maybe it's because it was uh, copyright claimed. Not that it matters to us. We don't make money Wait, it was from this claimed? channel. Yeah, because there was a song in one of the trailers that was oh. claimed. Um, I don't know if that like pushes it a bit more for some weird reason because whoever the, the claimant wants to make money off of it. But I don't know why. That that video is like our third most viewed video on the channel. Yeah, it is quite odd. <laughs> I bet you I'm sorry, I'm thinking a lot. It's okay. I mean, I I don't even 
it's not like we i mean the only reason why because cj is a fan of some xbox properties probably more so than i am because you like fable uh you like like banjo kazooie even though we're never going to get another banjo game uh what else were you were you hoping for something else i don't remember frankly uh Oh yeah, Bethesda. You like uh, Scott? You're, you're an Elder Scrolls fan. Oh yes. Yeah, you like Elder Scrolls and Fallout, and there was absolutely nothing from either there of those. Was nothing. I think there was some Fallout seventy six nonsense, but yes. who, who cares? Yes, Bethesda, give us fucking nothing. I hate Todd Howard though. <laughs> uh, that's there, that's yeah. one of my other mortal enemies. I and mean, we talked about how I had, I'm enemies with Eminem because of the whole them and M situation. You're also enemies with Todd Howard because of we share the same birthday and because they don't do, they don't do Fallout or Elder Scrolls Justice no more. It, it's mostly it's mostly the birthday thing. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's mostly the birthday thing. I mean, I keep forgetting because I the the two celebrities I know I share a birthday with are Marilyn Monroe and Notch. Uh, Hold on. What? I, it, you share a birthday with Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, she was born on June 1st. That's crazy. I feel like there's... Hold on. I'm going to look up fucking June 1st birthdays. Uh, June 1st celebrity birthday. That's like... Let's literally... When I when I was like on celebritybirthdays.biz or whatever, it was like the only one that was April twenty fifth. It was Todd, Todd Howard. Howard. <laughs> I was so upset. I was like, Are you fucking kidding? Are you joking me right now? Famous birthdays. Tom Holland, isn't he Spider Man? Yes. Morgan Freeman. I didn't know that. Oh, that's awesome. What what the oh, fuck? Heidi Klum. Uh Technoblade. Who is that? I don't know. I th- Minecraft YouTuber, I'm pretty uh, sure. Okay. Uh yeah, Notch. Danny Phantom EXE? Who the fuck is that? Probably a YouTuber uh, of some description. Yeah, probably oh, Amy Schumer. Your unwanted items. Andy Griffith. Uh, Isn't that the old TV boy? I don't know. Uh, yes, actually. I, I, I do know. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Alanis Morissette. Okay. It's like reggae. Hello. Uh, God, I really want that pistol. That's pretty much all that I can see. That's interesting. I was able to sell them some stuff, but I'm only like halfway there. All right, let's go over your birthday now. You keep uh, just grinding money, do whatever you're doing. I'm going to look up your birthday. Uh, I mean, if I can just find one that doesn't have as many augment slots, which that's why it was so expensive. But if I can just get one, just one, just one, please. I'm I'm begging. You got uh, Al Pacino. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, You mean the (laughs) Dunkachino? The Dunkachino. Oh, yeah, that's from something, isn't it? He's in a he's in a Dunkin Donuts commercial and he's like, it's Dunkachino now or whatever. I think that was a movie. Or something. No, it's a commercial, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. Uh, Jason Lee. Oh, you know who Jason Lee is? I have no idea who that is. Uh, he's Earl from My Name is Earl. And he also played Dave and Alvin in the Chipmunks, the One movie. The best in the <laughs> 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 oh, thank God. Thank God. He's also Coach Frank from Skate. And he was also, Coach Frank was also, in, I don't know what the deal with Coach Frank is. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Renee can't. Zellweger from B Movie. Great. Uh, let's see. I got the gun I wanted, but it doesn't have any augment slots. Baby steps. Captain Bling Bling is that like Bling Bling Boy when he grew up? <laughs> Why is my birthday so cursed? <laughs> Hank Azaria. He does a lot of voices in uh, The Simpsons. Cool. Uh, and that's all. I don't even see Todd Howard in this list. It's probably incomplete. Look up Todd Howard birthday. I promise you it's April 25th. I, I believe you. You showed me before. It's just odd that he wasn't here. 
Anyway, we're gonna go do an evil thing. Ooh, evil time. If trying to rearrange your spells in the middle of combat is too stressful, you can always eat my ass, you dumb little bitch. <laughs> oh my god. What if the tutorial started just shit-talking you? I, whose tummy is going crazy? Is that you or blue? That's mine. It sounded like a pigeon for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it picked up on the mic, though. Just like... Well... <laughs> what if I just put a pigeon sound? Oh shit, sound it's Arfur! In? Arfur! You freak! As you can see, I found myself a new place of business. Little Under the bridge, the you I fucking brought. troll. <laughs> but we're uh, an exclusive agency. Well, I got a new proposition for you. I'm listening. These friends of mine, fine fellas to the last, they've fallen into a touch of vexation during a routine commercial transaction. You know how it is. Certain commodity needs to be got hold of. And the proprietor is, shall we say, disinclined to flog it off to said gentleman. Well, you restrict trading like that, the whole economy collapses. So we're going to have to nick it. The Mark is a farmer in Brightwood. He used to be a guard. So we could use someone like you. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. fucking Do everything Arthur says. Yeah. We've, we've done that since we were a child. Yep, I... Honestly, I haven't Correct. done this quest in now, so long that I forgot Arthur was even a part of it. <laughs> Professional hazard. So when you get to there, well, we better get to it. Need to whistle three times. Wait, what? Off you go then. Something about whistling three times. I forget. Ooh, that's a very hidden chest. Stalls okay, about about Todd Howard. I just appreciate when like higher ups in video game companies actually seem to know what they're talking well, about yeah, he when it comes to video like, games i appreciate that cuz that's not always a thing he's about his games and that's great uh, that is just great. the way that he's about them is not exactly amazing i'll no, be honest I mean, no i just i i trust me bethesda's business practices are pretty shitty at times and i i, be, I believe aren't they pretty crunchy the uh, bethesda games apps yeah they're no, I mean, like, in terms of, like, development, like, crunch. I don't know, frankly. Yeah, but, I mean, there's plenty wrong to say about Bethesda, but I just... There's just so many, like, AAA game companies, or even, like, mobile game companies, where they just don't give a fuck about games. They're just, like, whatever. Like, Todd Howard, or, like, even the people at Nintendo, for the most part. I think, t for, 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 for as much as he talks, he's definitely, like, lost touch. Yeah, I'd say that. I mean, like, the, what I what I always liked about Nintendo is that a lot of their higher ups were like developers. Like Satoru Iwata was a developer. I don't know about their current president or Doug Bowser. I don't know if what like history he has in Douglas. video games. Douglas. I mean, to be fair, Reggie. I don't. I'm pretty sure he was like an executive at like Coca Cola or something. No, that was. I'm thinking of Bobby Kotick. Oh my god, I've just. I'm so sorry. I got Reggie fils may and Bobby Goddick mixed up. That's horrible. Uh, but no, I, I don't know. Re he, he certainly Reggie went into his own, though. Reggie did. Any cards. Did someone just call you a cunt? One, two, and a... Uh, that was three, wasn't it? Yeah. Time to jump! <laughs> is he gonna fall from the tree? Oh my god, he is, isn't he? Oh, that was lame. Percent as a competent grafter. Call me Ripper. That weasel told you what we're after, right? Frankly, everybody should be terrified of you. Look at you. Farmer's <laughs> name is Giles. Spent thirty years. Giles. I thought his name was Giles. Giles. Ugh. Giles definitely sounds better. A little item tucked away in his basement. We'd really like to get our hands on. Just don't try getting it yourself. You hear? Actually, I think I'm gonna double cross you. I get it. Just need a little more time. Yeah, the guy on the right has too much gear. I don't trust him. Three men last week. Another two this week. You building yourself a nice little graveyard. I got the wife, didn't I? Yeah. You now, killed a wife? Hey, only we can do that. Now he's got an army of his pig pals to protect the farm. 
probably getting ready to hunt us down too. Dude, what if you just like had a ton of babies uh, but, and then sacrificed the wife after everyone? Then you have this army of babies. From well, every time your spouse wives. dies, the child gets taken away. So that's oh, really? not, that doesn't work out. Well, I guess there would be no one to take care of him, huh? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Build a... It's baby laundering, then. You give it to give the baby to somebody else to form the army. Baby laundering. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Jizzles. Jizzles. Jizzling us. Borf? Evil jisms. No, don't make our dog say that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to fucking squeak. I'm evil, sorry. <laughs> evil Borf. No, you're not. I mean, that kind of comes with the cat with the category being evil, sorry. Is that you're not really sorry, evil Borf. Oh, look at him. Baby. Whoop. You didn't make it. I died. Well, that's the way to go, died. so it's whatever. Oh, look at all this beautiful... Hey, it's Cheese Boy. Give me cheese! Oh, I forgot. I didn't get any cheese. What? We, didn't, we, didn't we pick up some cheese? No, we did not pick up any cheese. I'm starved to death here if I have to be without cheese for another 50 years. Hey, gang. Oh, you want some? Fucking fuck you, Paul Revere. Now. Get ready to fire! Oh, it sounded like you had an American. Get ready to fire. Get ready to fire. Sounded like one of the fucking police officers from Shadow the Hedgehog or some shit. Nice. I guess while I was blathering on, you put the uh, the augment onto this knife. I did. Sweet. Now you're getting tons of money, and the weapon doesn't blow chunkus. Yeah, no chunks. No chunks in this trunk. Oh, chunks from Super Paper Mario. And Giles is dead. Uh, it's Giles, thank you. I'm gonna say Giles. Okay. And I got a seller key. And here's the thing. I for I don't remember what it is exactly that... Oh, I remember what it is that they want. But I'm gonna keep it for myself, because fuck these guys. Alright, get it. Now, where is the seller? Right there. Farm seller. Can I please go into the farm seller? $50 just appeared in my pocket. <laughs> $50. Every time I kill a person, that's pretty epic. Sandbags, shelves, treasure chest. Treasure. Anything else? Ooh. Is it, isn't that a higher level treasure chest? I don't have the key needed to open the portcullis. Portcullis? What? Is the key in the treasure chest? I'm gonna guess that it is. I'm wrong. How could I be this wrong? This appears to be an early draft of Giles's autobiography. Amid the bleak chronicles of his early years as a guard, there is an amusing anecdote of conquering a young group of bandits. We've been tracking their movements for months and finally got our break. Their leader, a nasty fellow by the name of Ripper, was spotted going into a cave in Bower Lake. We stormed in at nightfall, ready to capture, ready to kill, ready to die. But when we saw... What was going on in that cave? We could barely stand for for laughing. There they were, the meanest, most bloodthirstiest villains in Albion, sharing their latest spoils, a chestfuls of frilly dresses, fancy skirts, and ladies' underthings. They weren't just wearing their delicate treasures. I don't like where this is going. Me either. They were dancing and singing as merrily as any young girls I ever saw. Horrified at being caught like this, they made their escape as we wiped Tears from our eyes, no doubt. They'd be humiliated to have this story told, but I set out to write the truth. Oh, is that the problem? Is that what you needed? We ain't ashamed. Pants are fucking constricting. Are you fucking Fuck. kidding me? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whatever. Don't be ashamed, y'all. I own a kilt. It's too small for me, but I own one. Now, how do I get into here oh, I think good in it too I think I can only do that after I go to the spire oh so, oh, so you can come back here you just lose all of your quests yeah well I would have to have done this quest first 
All right, anything else? Oh yeah, this one. Two idiots. <laughs> you haven't found this location yet. How did you get the quest then? I guess the netherworld have been opened. I know where it is. Okay. Great. This is another one of those, I think... Uh, it, it does have an effect. Like, if I do this quest, the this area gets, like, the good ending, quote-unquote. But the thing is, if I... I would... Hold on. Let me think. Do some thinking, CJ. Eh, I honestly, I just might as well. Okay. I wouldn't read it in the first place. Yes, but you're the one who. Hey, look. You have to help us. Why? He raised the dead. Oh. Okay. Is that the end? You see, we read aloud from this book we found called the Normanomicon. You're the one who found it, remember? Yeah, and you're the one who read the thing. Oh, is, never mind. We sort of the thing is accidentally summoned a few hollow men. A few. Oh well, you like ones. fighting these. I do like fighting these. And now they have the book. Only because you dropped it, you big girl. You need to clear the graveyard so we can get the book back and put them all back where they came from. We know a particular big girl who would not appreciate that kind of language. Yeah. Where do you think they came from? She could turn you I into a pancake with her hammer. Them. All right, let's go do this. Next time you want us to explore the You know what we didn't finish watching? What? Germa's playthrough of this game. No, because we don't want to accidentally get past uh, past where we where we oh, are. Oh yeah, cuz then you'd get spoiled. I would. He did play The Sims 3 recently. I kind of want to watch that, because you don't like The Sims 3. I hate The Sims 3. You hate it? I despise... Whoop! <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. What do you mean, whoop? You've been kicking chickens the whole game. Well, if sometimes you do shit that you normally do on accident. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. I like the lighting in this area. It looks really different it's from the rest spooky. of the game, yeah. I like the fog, how it's like got this like evil white light. Too bad once all of these are gone, this uh, area is going to be bright and sunny. It's not going to be evil anymore. But I think I have to kill them all or else I can't do the grave robbing uh, a quest where I get to marry a corpse lady. Ooh. Do your horns pork pork por poke out of the highwayman mask? No. Oh, the, how how the fuck then? Check this. He hungry. <laughs> What'd you do that for? He bitch? wanted it. Good. You go inside now. All right. Will this end our quest? Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there yet. God, that's such fucking stupid design. It like, is a why? Very bad design. Bleh. <laughs> bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Man, this fucking cleaver rips. It rips, it tears, it is a pair. So glad. This is like my signature weapon, buddy. That's what I call justice. What I can't wait for, there's a quest later on down the line where you're in a tomb where there's just like an overwhelming amount of hollow men. Ooh. And I use that dungeon to just grind money. Oh my god, yeah, you better get- you, you'd probably get rich doing that. I get super rich, man. And you can just go in there over and over again and spawn it as, as many times as you want. It's kind of broken. Who is that? Why is she just amongst all these zombies? It happens. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're just hanging out in a cemetery and then the rays- and then the dead rays and- <laughs> I thought you said, sometimes you're just hanging out in the summertime and then just zombies are up on the beach. Let's see. It's 50... What's 50 times 100? 5,000. Okay. Right? Yeah.
Bam. Epic. I, much like my friend, am dancing epic. <laughs> nah, you're not that dense. There's that murderer. Never oh, there's that murderer. How's she going, mate? Are you right? There's actually a lot of stuff now that I'm thinking about it in the cemetery, now you but. Don't see that every day. Uh, there's a lot of hollow men in the mi in the military. <laughs> Man, that's deep. I did not mean for it to be deep. It was in fact just me flubbing my bubbling. I'm pretty sure all of the tombstones in this cemetery uh, are like the developers. Oh. So this is the credits room that, like, old games used to have. You dirty murderer. I just saved your life, fuck ass. You ass fuck. My poor buddy is so skilled. Ah, uh, he's a brave borf. Brave and evil. Brave and evil borf. Yes, this is dog housing. Very nice, very evil. Oh, do you hear that? Where is he? We should have named Quackers Doghausen. Well, we can change his name at any time. Do you prefer Quackers or Doghausen? I like Quackers. All right. I heard a gargoyle. I heard him too. There he is. Everybody should look up Danhausen. He's a wrestler and he's really funny and charming. Very nice and very evil. Blue is snoring. He is a snoring boy. Blue is very nice, but not evil at all. Why did I just get five good? Uh, because you got a good dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, I ran into the wall because I was looking at blue. One broken nose. One broken nose and a hundred zombies later. It's so bright over here. Yeah, because I killed all the zomboids. Zomboids. I've been used. I've been saying oids a lot too. <laughs> you know, like a like grandpoid. Five grandpoids joined together to make a grandpa. Why five? Because that's how many grandpoids are in a grandpa. Like that's it's just math. Hey, do you guys want to end oh. the quest, please? Oh. After we end the quest, we should go through that demon door. Right. Oh, yes. Because I feel like we haven't gone through any because of our trauma the last time. Oh, here we are. Tantir, Barada, Kanda, Mokluk. What? Ah. They disappeared. Oh, my God. They did disappear. <laughs> oh, their names are Max and Sam, by the way. Oh, they are? Yeah. Is that, like, on purpose? Yes. It's very much on purpose. They don't act like Sam and Max. No. They, they don't have to. Max, I don't know how we wound up in this video game from 2008. Dude, the dog just did a backflip. Oh, I, what the dog doing? I am a dog, and I promise I cannot do a backflip. I like my impression of Sam. I don't know how... Uh, how accurate it is. Everybody but. slam Jacob for his... Yeah, give me port. some harsh criticism. Leave, <laughs> leave a comment below. If you hate his... Give me some harsh criticism how I can improve my Sam impression. Oh, this door just has a treasure chest. Okay. Balverine strength potion. Skill potion. Will potion. It's just a bunch of experience. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, neat. I sucked it. Yum. All right, so that's everything that... That's all of the uh, time-sensitive quests before the Spire. So oh. Next time on Clowns Row, we go into the Spire? We're going to the Spire, I guess? Oh, all right. Oh, we're going to turn... Uh, turn sexual? 